And next we have Jack plays Blackfoot. I'm still in melee range. Dick. Yes, the creature yeah, yeah. you have been still alive. trying to murder are still alive. Yeah, yes. I, I, everything is burned up uh, for me, so bad. Uh, the one green one in front. Yeah, you you oh, wrote wow. pretty dope. Like, nice. which one are you trying to kill? Hit. That one. How you like that okay. shit? Yeah, the, the, the one in front of me. Uh, let's see. What? That. Yeah, oh, no, did that's, it wrong. Yeah, that's it. No, I did it wrong. Yeah, that's, that's wrong. That What's is wrong. What's your game number 20? No, close, but no. Uh, this creature is dead. You stab it in the head, you pierce its skull, it seems to like yell at you trying to reach to, to strangle you or something, but it, the life just stops and it falls to the ground. Dead. It, it also shits its pants. And uh, <laughs> next is uh, could, could it be zombie. like me being really angry, jumping at its at its head, and just piercing its head, plunging it into the ground? Yes, of course. You're the one who killed it. Yeah, with a crit. So oh, yes. I that, am that now on top of it. You sure? You take you an elbow in the face as you end up going past my outstretched arm. But all right. <laughs> I'm I'm a half I'll, uh, halfling nimble. Oh, okay, so. you dark down it. Cool, cool. <laughs> it's like a child running between your legs. Yeah. You don't really notice him. Okay. But I again, am brave. Uh, you do your More thing. Or foolish. Who knows? <laughs> it's, it's it's up to discussion. Oh no, he's 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 legit brave. I am legit <laughs> brave. <Cool. laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's dope, I guess. And also, <laughs> I have. Your nimbleness. Yeah. Wait, so that means that even hostile creatures cannot block your movement? No, uh, it only is for friendly ones. Uh. But for instance, if but I, it says I any any creature, I, I can move through through any creature that is larger than me. But they still get opportunity attacks. Oh, okay, these it creatures are trying trying to attack Dunkrit, but I, I'm guessing that the 15 is not good enough. Trying to attack who? Sorry, Dunkrit. Oh, right, okay. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. 15s do nothing. And here's a third 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 attack. Tuku. I'll be ripped to shreds. <laughs> yep. And I would be definitely brain tomatoes right now. And this creature is attacking Miri. Alright. 21. Uh, yeah. Hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She takes 5 damage. Five damage. And it's yeah, she's flagging a bit. Oh, damn. Sorrow's turn. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> inspiration! Inspiration! <laughs> Do I have inspiration? Everyone had it to, to uh, begin. Yeah, everyone does. It oh, was yes, for of the course. first turn of combat. You've been throwing ah. balls of shit at these creatures for like five <laughs> turns. So I'm not going to give it to you at this point. <laughs> the gods are not with us. Arr. And unless you bardic inspired it, but no, I, I, I did it on you, you Sunny. You gave it to Sunny. Yeah, I still have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no longer sunny. Oh, that's me done. Cloudy? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is going to be <laughs> a thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, next it is uh, Morsk and Kimbatu. What do you do? Uh, seeing Miri getting a little bit battered, I step up and attempt to butcher the zombie in front of me. Go for it. Whew. You hit it for, for 8 points of damage. You slice at the hand of this creature, and you actually sever the hand off of it, but it's still yeah. holding on, and it is fighting back. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. No, no, no. It's like when you think you're going to get a sw off. This one is dead. Okay. I think, yes, we killed it. And then it is um, Sanguine oh, Sunny Valentine. I shall uh, move here 
and use this creature who is engaged into the back with me to sneak attack the motherfucker and pierce him in the back. Go for it. You get advantage and sneak attack. Woo 18 for 13 damage. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's toast, but let's see. I don't get a uh, shady system. If he is, then I get to move Hex. Uh, you killed him. Uh, you you, you run run against this creature and you pierce him and he definitely falls to the ground. Right in the pooper! <laughs> that was sure, his you, you, you pierce his bottle and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Taste my mighty rod. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> You don't get my system. Good. This this is pretty normal for like, <laughs> creatures like this. Oh. No, I mean not not, not 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 getting a katana in the butthole, but you know the way that they survive fighting. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, Dunkred Loken's turn now. Right. And I'm, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna smack that one in the face. Go for it. Fucking die. Well, actually, this this zombie is coming. Like completely fresh, it just like lunged over its friends and is trying to, trying to murder you, well, and you actually miss because you seven is not enough to hit the creature. So, unfortunate. Do you have anything else you want to do on your turn? If I can't, nope. That's it. All right. Just then keep it is Miri. <laughs> Keep right. asking questions. Ask <laughs> them now. Oh god! Oh, oh no! Wow. Uh, you can reroll. Uh, just, just take the damage. Just take the damage. Sweet. So you hit the creature for three damage? Is no, for it? ten because I rolled a one, and because of uh, great weapon fighter. Uh, great weapon fighter. That's what it's called. It's a fighter okay. ability thing. I can. Uh, All right. Wait, Yay. You, rolled, you rolled a one. I rolled. I rolled damage. one of my damage. Right. And because of a fighter ability thing, when using two-handed weapons, I can re-roll the. Uh... Nah. Yeah, she, she she slashes the creature. It is heavily wounded. One arm missing. Like uh, mirror slashes into the creature's chest. This time, like almost splitting it in half but the zombie is still standing still there still going fuck it still <laughs> fighting back yes <laughs> do i have to kill everything here i've Maybe. killed lots of shit well it's your turn right oh really? you may you may stab yeah, at whatever you want <laughs> i'm gonna stabby 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 and just stabby but still stabby okay which one are you stabbing the white one okay you stab the creature i mean might survive. Let's see. Can you get my bolt back once again? No, no. <laughs> it's dead. You 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 stab this creature in its back, and you expect it to come back alive to fight you, but this time there's no chance. Can you give me my it bolt falls back. Dead and quiet. I, I oh, broke it, your bolt. It, it, oh. it has it has a bolt stuck on his head, but you severed it. For some reason, you just kick it in the head, and the bolt breaks. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> Okay. Fuck it if it works. <laughs> okay, next is again the zombie that will try to kill Dunkred. This one if we here. kick it, we can kill it. If we kick it, we can kill it. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not gonna hit your AC. No, not by a long shot. Cool. Next one is dead. Well, at least next there was tank dead. Pardon, it seems. Then this one is alive and it's it's going to attack actually um Morskan. That's my system. Alright. Nope. Not with the two, that's, it's not. That's not. <laughs> nope. It it tries to fight against you, but you just with your shield you shove it backwards so it, it my cannot best thing get to shove my shield into its mouth and it can't do shit. Yeah, yes. And uh, next is Sorrow. Okay, do do? A, for my bonus action, I'm going to transfer Hex to this character. Alright, it also has a grenade above its head now. What does your okay. Hex do anyways? Oh, I do... It's the thing that does his extra 1d6 damage. Oh, okay. uh, and also he has uh, disadvantage on any wisdom saves. 
Oh, okay, well. No, checks, not saves. I call it's hacks. Hexes. Hexes, uh, checks. It's not oh, saves, yeah, it's checks. checks. Oh, you are Holy shit, you dealt it. a lot of damage without oh, that, that is a hit. <laughs> that is a hit, they have exactly 8 AC, so he hits with, with that They've and got 11 so damage. And 1d6. Oh, oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Yay. High numbers, You're finally! Shit, man. <laughs> Stars are nine. The warlock's doing things! 17 damage, woo! In a magnificent display of, of power, you sh uh, shaman. Summon your Eldritch Blast, it flies against this creature and it goes straight through it. You see body parts flying uh, behind it, but it's still standing and fighting. So good job on the damage. And so next is like Morse Code. dead. There's, there's a hole in it, but it still keeps on going. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, alright, I'm gonna, uh, stab the, 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 the person, the zombie thing. Go for it. I mean, I, I feel I don't need to explain anymore. Oof. That's unfortunate. You, you, you slash at the creature, let's see if you kill it. Nope. Un unfortunately not, you strike at this creature, it seems to be on its last legs and it should be dead by all rights, but for some reason, the hack body just, just keeps Mirror coming back just at you. Fucking wailing on there's this like thing a finger coming happened. at you right now from this creature just attacking you with a finger. That's the only thing that's left. There. It's still, com still coming at you and annoying at your <laughs> Is that what? just a hand and one finger going towards you trying to scratch you with a finger? Um, unfor unfortunate, but true, yes. This is what's happening. And right now it's uh, Sanguine Sunny's turn. Like, I'm imagining Morskin right now just jumping in place, like hacking the ground, like, God damn it, die, you motherfucking <laughs> die, you <laughs> fucking hacking. Um, I'm gonna try and help with this, uh, the one that's attacking uh, our friend there. Uh, is he engaged? Yeah, yeah, you get advantage. Yeah, I'm currently blocking this fucker's oh, mouth. Well, no, it's okay. Oh, it's a shit, Nine. shit robot, you still hit him. Because they have 8 AC. But let's see. Let's Still see. You, might, you might actually kill it. That damage. Yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. You murdered the fuck out of this Three thing. Kills. You come, come like, around the corner and it doesn't expect you and you slice in its back and you like rip the creature in half and it falls on the ground completely lifeless. I'm gonna instantly turn and say thank you for your assistance. And the grenade explodes. <laughs> 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 no, no, there, there we go. Uh, now we can leave the other two fighting the zombie, we can go on. They're gonna take a while. It's a day or two. We build a camp here. <laughs> it's a day or two. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fully rested and ready to <laughs> just die. Might take a day of time, you're gonna take a nap. Okay. Fuck it, by the time they're done killing it, I'll be able to yeah, use lay on hands. It's just them. stabbing at morsels of body parts. <laughs> just die! <laughs> it's uh, Dunkard uh, Loken's turn. Uh. You see, you see in front of you, there's a bunch of dead zombies that your friends have all murdered. And uh, there seems to be one more left on your left yeah. side. Oh, I'm going to run up to it. Can I? Of course you can. I'm going to smack it with my uh, morning star again. Go for it. You definitely hit this creature. Let's see, is this the strike of shame? You put these two uh, veteran combatants to... No! No, thank oh, God! Oh, man! <laughs> you mean wait, thank wait, God? Wait, wait, no, 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 let's see. Six. Oh, it's dead. 19. It Nine, is dead. 19 damage. It's dead? Really? Yes, it's dead. Uh, the creature crumbles against your onslaught of, of superior uh, ability. <laughs> and the... Uh, Zombie just dies. <coughs> just, Take just, that. just so you know, laddie, it works like I have to count the damage that comes in and add a 5 to it. And if the DC save throw goes over it, just a d20, then this zombie is alive. Oh, but he hit it for 19, okay. so he overkilled it so bad that I couldn't even roll that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, well, it's Murray's turn next. Murray just keeps on hacking at the ground for a bit. Uh. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Take this. Um, 
I want to get. I want to get my bear trap back. You collect your trap. Bring out the shamans. Around you, there seem to be tons of dead creatures, and an eerie silence comes over the um, the graveyard as you have killed all of the things that were moving there. I wiped the. Um goo of my uh, rapier, sheath it, take off, off my loot, and start just chiming. I'm reminiscing this epic battle. I, I didn't catch an eye... Sight to be seen. I didn't catch the eye of uh, when Sanguine was trying to slice the head off. Too. I just remember when he... he Try to shoot at the gravestone. Well, if, if you walk around, you can see that there's a corpse on top of one of the uh, the sort of pillars to the entrance of the um, town. But that's up to you how your character like uh, inter interprets that. Uh, I was gonna thank the guy who was just running off into the distance now, but fuck it. So they're gonna tend to these two and and, uh, and uh, basically say thank you. Was gonna have your assistance in that. It's a bit more uh, tougher than I figured it would be. These things died faster. slowly. Oh, okay. Fuck it. <laughs> right, I'm back. What do we miss? We did it. I, I somehow, I somehow feel this is unjustified, but okay. <laughs> would be nice to know what everyone's doing before I started talking. <laughs> oh no! It was. It was. I have my reasons. Okay. Yeah. No, it's just I don't want to be talking to Finair after you've walked halfway down the fucking road. <laughs> I, but I did say oh, I, I just walked past you, so... <laughs> yeah, that was, like, in the middle of the fucking speech. Fuck it. Yeah. He does that. Uh, alright, what's this thing here? You see in front of you... Uh... Like, uh, where are you standing on the ground and you're looking towards uh, them? I presume, like, this is a step in front of me? Yes, it, it, and from where you are, you can actually see that there's a cracked door that, that leads somewhere down. You can see, like, maybe one or two steps from where you're standing, and there seems to be a, is this an a ancient sigil on, on the front. What? Sorry. Uh, is this a collapsed tomb? Or something? Yes, it's it's a collapsed one of those uh, crypts that they build for for like venerable people that can right. afford it. Mausoleum. Yes, a mausoleum. Yeah. I think mausoleum is a bit bigger, but yeah. Anyway, all right. So we see sigil on it. Can we roll to see what the sigil looks like, or if we know what the sigil means? Sure, you can roll. Uh, what do we roll? History. History. Uh, so the, 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 ones, the ones, or... the ones that that actually, uh, yes, are trained in history can roll, can roll to see. Is there anything else? I mean, I, I don't imagine. Jack of all trades. <laughs> mm. uh, ignore that. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna say that uh, Laddie's character may roll on this one. Could I roll? Okay. Tell me why your character would. I I know would about have stories this. and taverns, maybe. Uh, I'm well no, traveled. No, not 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 on this All one. Right. No. So what you know from what Dunkred Loken knows is that this is a um, a grave of a grand wizard that fought against the uh, the Grivet dynasty. In the their, against. In their, against. Against the Grivet okay. dynasty in in the um. Great war that has passed now. That is what you know, and the door door to this uh, great tomb seems to have been opened. This is a ancient wizard's tomb. How ancient? How what? what? How ancient? Very old. During the war with the. Uh, I can't remember the name of the dynasty. Well, I mean, it, 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 that's not very old. You, that's like you, 
10 years you don't, ago. You don't, don't know that much about the like backstory of the world. So there was a great war that like 10 years ago it ended and the Griffith dynasty won, won the war. So essentially they, they controlled most of the shit. And this is uh, a mage that fought against them. So against the order that you're serving or were serving when we started. This was a uh, war with the... Uh fought in the war 10 years ago. Fuck it. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Uh, can I properly examine, or have I blown my kind of look at it? What, what more do look, you the, want, the, want the, from the, it? The tomb lid, is, is there anything that identifies... Do you want to identifies... take the door off the tomb and carry it on your back? <laughs> <laughs> I I really don't know what more you want from it. I mean, that'd be a pretty awesome I'm, I'm shield. I'm just wondering if there's any more identifying stuff than that. That's that's all. If there isn't, then there isn't. That's fine. You you wouldn't understand. The, you wouldn't know this character. No, this this is not someone that your character is cool, cool, familiar cool, cool, cool. with for sure. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess. I do not think we should... Uh, how late has it gone? The sun is starting to set soon. You, you spend a good chunk walking here and fighting these creatures, which seem to be very difficult to put down. I do not believe we should stay in, these, in this part of the uh, area, in case more of these creatures appear. We're just getting low light, and they will be empowered in the dark, I fear. Would they return? You wish to run? I wish to regroup, not run. Would they return tomorrow? We would, of course, return tomorrow. Well, and would they side. return tomorrow? Oh. oh. Is this a DM question? <laughs> no, this is... I mean, does anyone have experience with Undead, I suppose? Uh, a bit, but I need a DM to tell me what to roll. I mean, I'm a Paladin, so I, I guess I have a counter for Celestial and Undead kind of creatures, so maybe? Okay, one of you roll nature, that would be sunny, and then you roll religion. Uh, dark card rolls religion. Uh, do I? I don't have religion. No, but on this one, because you're a paladin, you get to roll it. You think they dead. <laughs> That's that's what Dunkrit thinks that the dead are dead and they will stay dead and they are very dead. And what uh, Sanguine thinks from his adventures of killing creatures and uh, and evil beings is that once you put them down, they very very rarely come back to life after you expunge them from their unnatural existence. I believe they are very difficult to bring back to life a second time. Alright. That settles it. I need a rest. I start walking. I believe we should all take this moment to head back to the taverns and find somewhere to rest. We will return tomorrow and clear up whatever mess this there is left in these tombs. I'm going to walk <laughs> back towards the... Uh, where we came from. Yep. I mean, I see no point in moving us if we're all just gonna move. <laughs> okay, you guys go back to the town. And again, you're greeted with the same atrocities or like devastating sight of Dead seeing people, the town. Green skies, yeah, all that shit. Yeah, you, you see some nasty shit that will scar you for life. Excellent. And and you uh you go to a tavern like somehow there are still a couple of open taverns in the hall of uh, Baldur's Gate that are actually offering services even in this uh, dire situation and you find lodgings for for a cheap price especially since you are accompanied by one of the uh, guard of the uh, the king uh is the tavern busy not very because of the uh, can I, tell, can I tell if they're giving me uh, a discount on respect or or fear? You may intimidate the barkeep, yes. I mean, can I tell if it's if it's like, oh yes, yes, of course, come in, come in. We, we don't want any trouble. Or is it like a 
Hey, welcome, Kingsguard. Kind of thing. Uh, well, I guess roll insight. insight. Yeah. With your roll, you you think this is normal. Everywhere okay. you go, people treat you the same. It doesn't matter for you. You just seem to get better service after you've gotten the um, the purple cloak instead of the red one. And the reds are essentially the uh, the normal town guard, and the pur purple guys are the uh, the lords guards or the king king's guards. Rod, rods and rings. <laughs> oh, God. They, that doesn't exist in my town, okay? <laughs> Are you sure? God. No. Because no, the, the magic no. cloister does travel no. around. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now wondering what rods and rings is. And do I Presumably want to ever know? <laughs> yeah, but what kind of ruffle? There is a Don't town in my way. question. <laughs> <laughs> I've made hungry. You, you made a mistake. Sky, there's not a green explosion, cloister. you all die. Oh. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> oh. Um, no, no, that doesn't happen. You what? Yeah. So can can I just sort of take a scan of the tavern? What what sort of people do we have in here? Are they all glum? Do they look to have lost people in this catastrophe? To look pissed off? Do we have some guards? What's what's going on? There's there's a mixture of people, but uh, but as a normal tavern, this seems to be very quiet simply because of what happened. Like, they had to clean out a lot of extra people from the tavern, even from the inside, because of what happened. The tavern keeper lost his son to the blast and is, is currently running the, the tavern alone, so he's sort of struggling on his work, but he manages to, to serve you your food and get you your lodgings, that they are in decent condition. What, what kind of people are around? You see a couple of noblemen. Some peasants, there's a chef, a guard or two walk past the door as you sit in the tavern. That's, that's what you see. Okay, there's... Uh, can I pull you out for a sec, Shady? <laughs> okay. Well, it's just easy. So, so, everyone think up the worst brothel name. <laughs> Magic Loyster, Rods and Rings. <laughs> I don't know, the Sticky Clam must be up there. Black Orifice. <laughs> Blue Oyster Club. It's a good band. Mm. Well, Stiffy. It's just the Stiffy, you're just going to call it that. The Rogering of Dodger. Johnson's Jenkins. The Smelly Hound. The Smelly Hound or the Smelly Hand? <laughs> <laughs> Mine above. <laughs> I'm not sure which one's worse. Probably <laughs> the Hand, I think. Forgot to unmute. Damn it. Pinkin, Pinkin. All right. You've missed a riveting discussion. That is great. <clears throat> Greatness comes in a handbasket. Lovely. So, that is pretty much, uh, except for what, like the uh, next part, I guess. Everything that I prepared. Unless you want to just literally sleep and go back to. I think we might uh, sleep and call it here. Yeah.